Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Uh, hit the like button and please subscribe. It helps my channel a whole lot. And uh, God bless you and you are a blessing. Bill Gates. In recent interview, billionaire. Bill Gates expressed concern that attempts by far-left climate radicals to force people to change their behavioral aren't realistic. During an August interview on Bloomberg Zero podcast, host Ashat Rafe asked Gates if addressing a so-called climate change required a revolution. Gates told Rafe he didn't think it was realistic to think people will change their entire lifestyle over concerns about the climate and suggested that collective action would only work by creating a North Korean type centralized authority to force people into obedience. Mm, Gates said anyone who thinks simply telling people things like stop eating meat will be enough to change human desires isn't being realistic. Gates said just getting a few wealthy countries or wealthy uh, companies or individuals buy their way out so they can say they're not part of the problem will do nothing to solve the problem. He explained that curbing the excesses of rich countries, even if they are curbed completely, won't solve the problem of co climate change. Gates also said that to combat, combat climate change, people can't use the issue like a moral crusade. He said the, cru the uh, crusaders don't realize how many things are competing for the modest amount of increased resources societies have or how few people are prepared to let themselves become more soft just to meet the so-called climate requirements. If you hear a noise, it could be the furnace kicking on or I have a dog chasing a kitty right now. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, they know, they just don't care. The problem Bill Gates has is that he is a climate change true believer. His, now, now, calm down, calm down. Uh, his criticism against the climate cult doesn't go far enough because he's too, because he too is a card-carrying culturist. C-U-L-T-I-S-T, cultist, cult, like a cult, cultist. The cultists don't care if they have to establish a North Korea-like centralized state that imposes restrictions on the population. Obedience is the point. Their goals are unrealistic because their views of climate change are unrealistic. Unrealistic. But to admit this, Gates would have to accept that he is just as unrealistic as they are. <clears throat> well, I don't know about Gates anymore either. Yeah, he's really becoming a question in my mind. You know what I mean? And now this thing right here where it says obedience, we have to become obedience. I just wonder if that's the group that is saying they're going to control everything we do. I can't be sure on that because I don't see uh, any group here with a name. No, I really don't. Well, that'll be something more for me to look up. See what I can come up. But he thinks the leftists are way off base. So, I would think so too, wouldn't you? Huh. Well, my, oh my, oh my. Shocking. Top Dem calls to kill and confront MAGA Republicans. During the discussion, now that, don't take that literally, that's not what they mean, kill in person. 
I don't think. Let me read on. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So don't, so don't think they're going out and kill people. That's not what they mean. Uh, during the discussion that took place on Monday evening, uh, Democrat Rebe Re Re okay. Re Re Prince Representative. You know, sometimes I wonder if my tongue gets over my eye teeth and I can't see how to pronounce these words or see what I'm saying oh well let's start over shall we Democratic representative Tim Ryan <laughs> decided to double down on comments he made earlier in the year which he called to murder and confront the mega supporters who also directing his rhetoric especially at JD Vance during the heated discussion between Ryan and his Republican challenger for Ohio's open seat in the United States Senate, Ryan was approached and questioned about his comments made earlier in the year on MSNBC's Morning Joe. In that interview, he stated that the exhausted majority needed to kill and fight the hardline Republican movement. So they're not going to kill the people, is uh, I don't know how to explain that, but uh, let's pray not anyway. Now, during the debate, Ryan added Vance to the group of those he referred to as extremists. In doing so, he doubled down on the words he made earlier. Ryan asserted that one should kill and confront the extremist movement, just the movement, not the people in it, Whew. which sadly includes J.D. Vance as a participant. To further pin the blame for Vance's comments on the President, Ryan asked, Who says that the President of the United States is purposely, purposely fully, purposefully trying to kill people with fentanyl, who asserts, who asserts that the election was tampered with? Who is it that hangs out with Ron DeSantis? the governor of Florida, who wants to restrict access to books. He's frequently seen alongside Lindsey Graham, who advocates that for criminalization of abortion on a national level. Ryan was attempting to name off lawmakers Vance had came into touch with or commented on while on the campaign trail. He continued, You're chasing around Marjorie Taylor Greene who is the absolutely looniest politician in America. Vance has mentioned Green earlier. Ryan concluded his speech by saying, This is a dangerous group. Okay, now there is a dangerous group. And we do need to address it. Because of this, Ryan is running for office to rep represent the exhausted majority which includes Democrats, Republicans, and Independents who are opposed to the extreme. I wonder if she's in that group. During the question that came before, Vance also attacked Ryan for his previous views by adding, Tim Ryan, who runs all these television commercials, claiming that he wants to connect to Trump voters, wishing to appeal to Republicans, but says that he wants to destroy and fight the mega movement? Vance made this statement in response to the fact that Ryan has stated similar things in the past. My goodness. My, 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 my. I still say nobody wants to get together on nothing. What do you think? The kids are playing. Forgive the noise. Yes, the kids are playing. Four-leggers, not two-leggers. Oh, boy. Well, let's go see here what this one has. And this will be kind of short video of shorts. <laughs> oh, this is Uvalde. Controversial new hire fired by Uvalde schools. A newly hired Uvalde School District police officer has been fired after CNN reported 
that she was one of the first officers on the scene and made controversial statements during the May Massacre at Robb Elementary School in Texas. Crimson Elizondo, Elizondo, 45, has resigned from the Texas Department of Public Safety after enraged parents expressed their disgust at her lack of intervention in the tragedy. She's a very nice looking officer. However, she was then hired by the Uvalde Col Consolidated Independent School District only to be fired when parents again voiced their outrage. CNN reported that Elzondo showed up at the scene in May with her gun drawn but did not properly follow procedures. The report said the officer did not remove tactical body armor or her long rifle from her police car as she was trained to do. Later, she was caught on body cam commenting to another officer that if her son had been in the building, she would not have st stood around outside. Elizondo is the footage said that my son's in daycare. He's not old enough. But she added, if my son had been in there, I would not have been outside. I promise you that. So in other words, she's just commenting that if it was her son, she would be going in after him, try to save him, is what she's referring to. But the parents took it as, you know, them standing around and not trying to save their children, evidently. I, I'm not sure about that. The officer quietly resigned her position after investigation began into her response at the school. In a statement, Uvalde School District said they were de deeply distressed by the CNN report concerning Elizondo. Elizondo. The district apologized to families of the victims and the community at large and added that the officer's statement concerning her son did not meet district expectations. Well, she shouldn't have voiced that because her son wasn't old enough to even be attending that grade of school and she should have kept her comments to herself you know Texas government Greg Abbott however said the Uvalde district reached out to the DPS and was told beforehand that her actions were inconsistent with training and department requirements See, in his words the district had full information before making the hire some children who survived the massacre. Oh, that just breaks my heart. That survived the massacre. Bless their hearts, they made it. But some didn't. Recognized Elizondo, Elizondo at the district schools and are said to be furious to find that she's been hired. Parents also reportedly recognized her while she was on duty and called for her firing. Family representatives said that they are disgusted and angry and that her hiring calls the district's credibility and thoroughness into question. So evidently, I wonder if maybe she has outspoken at other tragedies. You just can't do that, especially when you wear a uniform. You know, you can't do that. My goodness. Well, I think I'm going to go on and um, look up some more articles because that just about wipes out my desktop for right now doing two or three videos or two or three articles on one video. <laughs> and uh, so I think I'm going to uh, be right back in just a few and look up a couple more articles and um, so stay safe and remember you are a blessing be right back